most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a beautiful and magical place. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Jeff and Anna, that happened in my way. <laughs> So I'm honored to be here tonight uh, celebrating Anna and Jeff, um, but mostly Anna because, uh, because, come on, come on, come on, come on, because I've had the pleasure of knowing her for 20 years. Okay, so recently we were all lucky enough to spend a four day weekend in Chicago with Anna and some of her nearest and dearest friends. Every one of Anna's friends, including myself, had several moments during the trip where we just paused in awe and asked how did we get to be so lucky. So I can imagine, Jeff, that you two have paused more than once to ask yourself how did I get so lucky. And I want to share with you the answer that we all seem to come up with that weekend. And that's we have no idea. <laughs> no clue. Five years ago, I went to a wedding and sat across from you. I thought to myself, oh, here we go. <laughs> Never in a million years did I think my new wedding friend would be the man that I married. But I'm so happy to marry you today. A few Fridays ago, we had the best time staying in and had each other laughing until we cried. I remember thinking that if this is what married life is like, then I can't wait to be your wife. Then I started hearing about this girl from Tampa, all right? And then she was also from Nebraska, right? So the girl from Tampa from Nebraska that nobody in the Northeast had ever met, real believable story, right? <laughs> but Daddy was going back and forth to Tampa, love, and Anna, I'll tell you what. I knew you were a keeper way before I even met you. Because right? I heard that you came up to Boston, you stayed in Duddy's apartment, and then you were coming back. When I was thinking about vows for the last few weeks, you know, I, had, I wrote one thing down. It reminded me of that awful draft day movie where he writes one guy's name down and has it in his pocket for weeks. I just wrote, remember how lucky you are. Because, I mean, look at it. I'm so lucky. But loving you is just, it's easy. I never had to try or fake intention or, you're just, you're amazing. I love you. Uh, I vow to always be loyal to you, to truthful to you, and to support you in everything that you do, including if that means cooking for marathons every <laughs> single week. Place the ring on Jeff's left hand and repeat after me. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. Above all else. Above all else. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. With this ring, I be wed. I know I speak for everyone in this room and the ones we wish that could have been here with us. Thank you for asking us to be a part of your day. Congratulations. By the power vested in me in the state of Florida, it is my honor and delight to declare you both married. Go forth and live each day for the most together. You may seal this separation with a kiss. Getting the guest list together is difficult, and the fact that all of you traveled, pretty much probably 95% of the room traveled for this, means really a lot to us around the holidays and just everything going on in everybody's life. So thank you, every single one of you, for coming. Um, we also wanted to thank our families, uh, our moms and dads, for helping us with this wedding, just being there for us. Um, throughout our lives, really. Uh, just being a support system, 
and I really want to thank my, my now wife. Because I didn't, I really just said yes to everything she asked me a question about for this. I didn't, didn't really have to do much. So I, I just had to show up and as Christian says, look handsome. So.